today and today we're going to have a game of the Dam Busters on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. I had this back in the day on the Amstrad CPC, also played this on the Commodore 64, but I want to see what the Spectrum version is going to be like. Um, so we've got a few options here, start, joystick keyboard which we're going to select because of some reason I cannot get the joystick to work on the emulator, instructions, Feel free to pause the um, video if you want to read the instructions. I basically know what the game's about. It's basically what happened in events, what happened in the Second World War. You're flying a Lancaster bomber, and you've got to uh, fly over Germany and drop the bouncing bombs. I think it's one. I think there's three dams in total, but I don't know if you have to do all of them. So there's a lot of keys in this game. Um, as I'm using the keyboard to control the plane, the controls are one for up, A, or is it the other way around? It could be inverted. One, A, um, eight, and zero to control the plane. As you can see, we've got Q, W, QWERTY, U, I. These, these um, will um, take you to different um, parts of the plane and obviously you've got to um, use the different windows uh, different windows different like as you say you've got pilot you're flying the plane front gunner tail gunner bomb aimer that's to drop the bouncing bomb navigator um, first engineer screen second engineer screen and obviously your status and I will what I'm going to be doing as you if you want to read the instructions more that tells you how to um, approach the dam right so we're gonna change the skill level to easy believe me even easy is pretty hard um, I could never ever when I had it on the Amstrad I could never um, get it right dropping the bomb and I doubt if I'll do it in this version either. Right, so we got it on easy. In flight. Um, so starting mode. But we're going to take the plane off. We're going to make it more interesting. We're going to take off. And the readout, we can have it digital or analog. We're going to have it analog. As it says there, at the bottom there. One, up, A down, eight and zero. That's to fly the plane. Right, bottom row to fire. We're going to use spacebar and Q to I to state your screen as it says. Right, let's play the game. It's enough waffle, so let's start. So you can type in your commander name. So we're just going to put my surname. Here we go. Right, so we're in the Lancaster. Right, as we're taking off, we can't take off at the moment because we're sitting on the runway. Even for some reason, it looks like we're moving. We shouldn't be moving. Um, so first things we've got to do. Let's have a look at our window. So this is the pilot's view window. That's the um, um, front gunner. That's the rear gunner. That's your bomb aimer. Um, so that's your map. So basically you can um, choose your way. Go to your waypoint which is your first dam. So this will be down here. So this will be your dam. So you push space and that's the compass will lead you to it. You just have to fly your plane there. So let's push six. Hang on, why can't I put oh no? Six. That one to one to the new the number of keys were on the Amstrad and the Commodore 64 versions, but this version is the QWERTY keyboard for some reason. Right, so let's push why so now this is this is your engine control so first engineer so what you've got to do is put the revs up obviously not that high then i think these are your boosts then you've got to put the boosts up not too high because if you put it too high you'll burn your engines out same with this keep it there and we'll look at the seven got to go to seven no we don't push seven it's qwerty keyboard so here i think we've got our lower our flaps or something so we've got to do that now we go back to the pilot so now we can take the plane off 
it's a lot easier to take the plane off on the um, Spectrum version so you can see there we're going up so the next thing we got to do push I think it's you now we're taken off don't have to do this put the flaps back up and put our landing gear up so now we're um, flying let's push Q now we're in the pilot so we just don't have to go all the way up so let's skip the so we see we've got a line in our compass there next to the E obviously we've got to go east so we get that in line that'll take us to the waypoint so we'll take us to the first dam right oh we're going back down we don't want to do that we'll hit the ground still going down right that'll do so let's have a look at the map push the right key so we're still we're flying over the English Channel here so let's have a look see where we are so then we'll be going to flying over France shortly so let's have a look at um, front gunner so this is only a 48k version I believe I don't think there's any 1 to 8k version out of this game right, I just got to remember it's the QWERTY keyboard to change the views as I said before in the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad versions it was a 1 to 7 I think right let's carry on going so we looked at that looked at that and this is the um, eye so this will tell you your damage of your plane um, your score general condition yeah so we go back to Q ah here we go now right now we can see oh I keep pushing the wrong button right oh bullocks I didn't hear did I because those barrage balloons usually oh, bloody I keep pushing the wrong buttons no so let's so if, maybe because I've got it on easy mode I can't even get to it right let's have a look at push the right button so we've got spotlights going on here Maybe I should just up the difficulty level a bit because this seems too easy. Perhaps you can't hit nothing. Oh well. Go down a bit. Let's have a look at our map, see where we are. So we're flying through France at the moment. Oh, we still no. Oh, we're in Germany. Must be Germany. Right, let's have a look at the map. No, it must be no. It's France. Here we go. So usually we, we should see some fighters come along in a minute. Should we usually get some um, encounter some I think measure smiths. As I say, I could never, ever, ever get the dams. Could never bomb the dams. I doubt from them. It's really. It's quite. At first, it's quite complicated. But I suppose once you've had plenty, plenty of practice, you can do it. 
uh, spotlights because if they get it by the, if you get noticed by the spotlights then you get flat fire and sometimes the flat fire can damage your plane but I think because you got it on easy it might not happen Commodore 64 version was probably the hardest version Amstrad version I thought it was a little bit more easier but on the Spectrum version you can choose your difficulty level something you could not do on the other two versions I don't think but I've not counted any fighters yet usually when those barrage balloons you can fly over a certain altitude and the barrage balloons don't come up that far but it's obviously they flew right through us but usually when they hit you that's it your plane blows up so let's have a look at the map They're still flying over We should be going into the next part of the map soon. Here we go, so that will go down another. It's just stacking on. Let's have a look at the. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. Right. We've got a line, probably have to turn around and line ourselves up. So let's have a look at. Um, You got to be going at the right speed, and oh, I can't remember what it said now. But we're going. We're... Oh bloody hell! I crashed the plane into the ground. Do you know why? Because that usually flash the alternate. Oh, what's it called? Your ten the tenometer, the the altitude meter <laughs> usually flashes when you're getting too low. I don't know why it didn't do that on the spectrum. So I crashed the plane. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you get a just general gist of the game. Um, I don't know. I didn't like the spectrum as version as much as the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad version. Um, I don't know. I know it's an early game for the. It's quite a lot for the 48k. You know what's going on. So I'll give it that. But. If you like flight simulators, um, bombing runs and things like that, definitely give it a go if you haven't played it already. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.